Hello everyone and welcome back to the One Island Challenge. Now it is a surprise isn't it? We are back on track and why is that? Well because basically I've reloaded the latest save file so 10 minutes before the big attack happened and I completely revamped my harbor area. I've moved the docklands and added another big betty and on the other side I also have big baddies and harbor cannons. This doubled our military score Right, so uh, more and more big baddies on both sides of that. And what happened basically is that Bente agreed to peace. It is unbelievable, but she did. We're still so far behind her. But since we doubled our military score, it was probably, I don't know why, but she kind of like just went for a treat or uh, for a peace treaty um and we are no longer facing annihilation at least not from her right she was already gathering her fleet and then she decided to go to peace with us the moment we built those big baddies all of them so i tried this outside of recording because it took me a few tries right i actually originally wanted to i also had big baddies here um and i still failed the next attack but uh, once i've built this harbor area finished this one and more cannons on that side and the big bed is on the other side she just decided to go to peace with us and i'm totally fine with that problem is we are out of influence but we are still alive at least for now and i think we can squeeze in another episode at least i think until either princess ching hunt or benta are attacking once more Either one of these things might happen soon, but we have now another very heavy fortified harbor area. I've moved the steam shipyard over to squeeze in yet another big bed in the main harbor area. Um, and the steam shipyard here um, is heavily fortified with that now. The problem is I don't have enough coastline anymore to supply all my sand consumption. So I will need to first of all boost my sand mines that we have right now, which of course is not very good. We, have, we don't have the best happiness there right now, but at least they... Um, do produce something here and at least we have this area here now fortified as well so this is not going to be so easy to to crack even though of course it is for a massive fleet if they do this but at least we have a fight and it was all about the military score right it was so important to get this higher and higher and the opt or the the goal here is of course to push out more harbor cannons and also fortify this area here that we will need as well let's just repair a few buildings here that have been destroyed by some fires and i'm just very happy to see my city alive again honestly it was quite a lot of work, so I don't want to lose it so quickly. And we are we are trying our best here to, to get things started, right? To get things continuing there. So uh, one thing I would like to do is, can we do this? Um, upgrading more to investors. I think right now we do lack something. No, the fur coats are coming in already. So um, the next engineers probably will upgrade soon. We're very low on timber. I don't want to consume too much timber there right now because we do need it for more uh, defense. So while I'm waiting for those engineers, there is a quest from Madame Kahina I would like to do. Welcome to the truth. It's a quest line actually. And she wants me to to smuggle to the ship here. We have the huge collier at Eli. And I just need to avoid these ships there. And we do have the white flag. So... Um, it's easy, right? Because no one is going to attack us. And we just need to get here before those make their full circle there again. We have enough time for it. Unfortunately, the huge collier is pretty pretty slow, right? But this will still work out there, most likely. And then we'll just see what happens. I think we will get a key item. There you go. And this key item, we now need to get to our harbor area. All right, let's get it over there. This should be fine. All right. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. It's now uh, Miss Hunt that is attacking on the other side with steam shipyards. Uh, with steam shipyards, with steam ships. And quite a lot so too. So I think we're going to lose this one after all. But there was no way I could do it any other way, right? This was the only solution how to get the piece from Bente. But of course, Miss Hunt is not too happy with that. So we're doing, we're doing some nice damage there on her ships, no doubt. But it's still... Holy cow. It's still absolutely... Not going to work. I hope she's just attacking this harbor area here, right? With another massive attack, we will not survive to the main harbor area. Especially since, even with the big baddies, they're not taking so much damage. 
these steamships here are so fortified and upgraded with items that it's just I can't see how we can breach that at all. Or actually destroyed this. I will just need to repair it once the, the siege is over and that's it. I was also trying something else to get harbor items, right, that boost my my output of my cannons. Unfortunately, they're very rare and it's not really hard, uh, easy to get them, right? So I'll, I just need to reroll here as often as possible for the harbor master. We got the harbor building self-repair that is going to be increased here. Maintenance cost is um, increased or reduced. Um, so these items we basically need quite a lot of them too if I want to push my, my cannons there somehow. But I don't think that... Oh, this is pretty good, right? So your buildings and ships repair themselves even during combat. It even counts for buildings, which is strange or interesting. I haven't used these items yet ever, so <laughs> I've got almost a thousand hours on this game and Harbor Master items well, never really were on my list, um, but we will probably find one of the, a few of them. I've never been in this position that the harbor is not strong enough, no matter, no matter what I do. All right, also, of course, how can it be any different? At the same time, my most expensive factories catch fire. I think this is also looking like there is a chance for fire quite a lot here. They're smoking very strangely. I mean, we do have two fire stations in the area, and yet it's not working out. Hmm, all right. Yeah, this is over. They're moving past. My steam shipyard is gone. I would probably, the only other thing that I could think of is building dreadnoughts, right? So we do have the resources for that. Um, building few, a few dreadnoughts probably would help us too. Problem is the moment they are built, they probably get destroyed. But we have to try this one. I will also have to try to, to get on better terms here with Miss Hunt, but she is not inclined to go to any ceasefire with us. So that's not working out. Uh, Bente has purchased a, a share back. We might actually go for a share of Miss Hunt, as I think this is more worth it for our income. And my huge collier it has arrived now. There you go. Oh no, that's my rum trader. Where's my? Where's my? There it is with the item that we wanted. Okay, another thing, um, since heavy weapons are so important to us, or advanced weapons, I do want to have more factories here. We have two already that are being powered. Uh, problem is they really do need power, right? So what I will do here, we have the power plant and we do have the pig farms here. I, I do consume a lot of pigs already um, and pigs are just very, very important. Let's just check the docklands. We are, are we using pigs here? I think we are not. Oh yeah, we are with the steam orders now, right? So... There, it's helping out a bit from our own production. So I think we can get rid of these pig farms here. I don't need to have them endlessly. So let's get rid of them. There you go. And that makes it possible that we move the window makers. No, actually those we don't need to move. The glass makers most likely. Let's move them a bit further down. Or let's move them up. I think we're going to move them up actually. Yep. There you go. And here. And here. And here. They're not being powered now, of course. So we probably will need more than what we can, uh, that we usually need. This one. And then I'm probably going with uh, two more just to compensate for the, the loss. And this, fire, this police station here actually is not needed because we have one right next to that. And this makes it possible to squeeze in those glassmakers than here into this little puzzle area. The hunting cabin there is probably not going to work any uh, that efficiently anymore, right? So at 60%, but we'll have to deal with that later. Um, I think though with fur, yeah, fur is not the big problem here. And fur coats is also looking good. Actually, this brings me to my upgrading because I'm pretty sure, yep, we can upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade more people to investors. Here in the center, we have a few more. Here, we do need that influence. We do need it. Just very important here. All right, and there we make lots of room for additional ones now. That's looking fantastic. Now, um, I do. I, I've actually planned for another trade union here for my bakeries. Unfortunately, I I cannot invest the twenty influence there. We do need it for more harbor defense. So it's absolutely not something I can do. But what I can see already is that Miss Hunt is probably now fully attacking. It looks like it. 
and this might be the end of this then again anyway i just wanted to show you that i've tried it right as much as possible but i don't think that we can really it salvage this all right there we turn it in we get a silver sword out of that for a potential museum that we probably never built <laughs> so that's most likely it Right, let's just keep them here, and I could then now squeeze in more advanced weapons. Yeah, actually two. Two would be amazing. Right, I do need to move this warehouse and this fire station so that we have room, proper room for two big ones right here. Where I would like to have them. Right, and then we have... Actually, then we can move the fire station in here and have them the road and the warehouse closer again for these buildings there. There is one and there is one anyway that we can upgrade then as well. But that would double our advanced weapon production if it ever comes to this. Could also try. Actually really doesn't want to do anything with us. It's such a shame really. And a peace treaty with the pirate is possible but probably pretty expensive. No, actually 33,000. That's something we can do. Right, and with that we have the first pirate on our side. And Sean, uh, he's still very unrealistic about his needs. <laughs> so he wants, he's very greedy about everything. Uh, ten more seconds, then the siege is over. And what I can see is they are probably... Oh yeah, they're attacking. Alright. I guess that's it once more. We can just enjoy the, the scenery as those ships are moving in. So if we are going to peace with Bente, we're going to... We're going to see a full-fledged out attack by Miss Hunt, and that's probably it then again, right? So, either one of them is attacking me. Oh, are they? I think they're moving past. Well, I think this is just a patrol, right? Some of them are getting lost here and are uh, getting a bit too close to my big baddies. Now we have three more. So there is quite a lot of uh, additional firepower, but it would still not be enough, right? Especially those battleships are crazy. But no, they are not attacking. Hooray, we see another day. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Is under and I do need the timber, though. I do have timber production, right? No, I don't. We have no timber production anymore. Uh, we also have no locks anymore. Tobias is coming in four minutes. Fire. Left ruins behind. This is another major problem that we have there now. That means that... Yeah, okay. Um, I've wasted attack. my locks with uh, the additional production that we just had. Emergency-wise. Let's get rid of the timber export there. I also don't need that any longer. We have upgraded timber. Oh, alright. No, no. Never mind. Never mind this. They're attacking after all. Then I don't need to worry about my timber production. Right, no, I don't need to worry about my timber production. It's lost once more. I mean, they're taking some very nice looking splash damage, right? And it's just so good that we have all these tanks here doing their job, but still, it doesn't matter. It's so many ships, it's unrealistic how many ships there are and there is just no way we can we can really break them especially since they don't back off right we still have all the big baddies working no one is down now but yeah miss hunt how are you going about this <laughs> i mean it would be Really cool if she actually wants to go to a ceasefire with us at this point, but she, of course, there's no compromise here. Their military score is so much higher that they just really don't want to do anything anymore with us. Alright, all the big baddies are down. Let's just see what Miss Hunt is doing. If she purchases the shares, then we might be having another chance here. But if she takes it over now, then this is the definitive end.
we still have a defense somewhere? Nope. All the defense is gone. Why are they backing out? Uh, out. Backing off. We still have those uh, docklands here. Right. Look at the damage. I mean, even if we could continue here, rebuilding even the docklands would take me decades, I think. And I think she's not taking it over because she... It doesn't look like she wants to. I don't know if she's backing off. This is another very strange AI behavior. We'll just take it, I guess. Alright, even after a, a bit more than a minute, the Phoenix is completely devastated, so there's not even any Docklands left. Ah, actually there is some more modules over here, but that's really it. We need to wait now another 45 minute, uh, seconds before we can repair anything, right? I cannot do anything here at the moment, except perhaps moving some of those buildings, but repairing stuff is not possible for the moment, so we need to wait. I've sent my huge collier to Archie to get us some timber, and we probably will need to adjust a few things quickly to get the building materials in. This is looking though really harsh right now. Um, at least I have my blueprinted advanced weapons, or heavy weapons, so we could still build something from that. Workforce right, she was not taking over the island, she just showed who's the boss, I guess, Miss Hunterwise. But that's it for now. Or is she at war with the pirate? Did that bring her back? Workforce no, it doesn't look shortage. like it. Alright, it's gone, so we can repair the, uh, the trading post, making the city functional again. Right? Like so. And then we basically now need quite a lot of resources. Unfortunately, what I can see is that the Docklands need 20 tons of timber for repairing. So I cannot even use the Docklands there. And what I will need to do as a measure of emergency, I will need to get rid of these guys here. Just a bunch of farmers, really. Right, I'm going to move one of these warehouses. We have a few too many here anyway, I think. Uh, let's move this one. Then we're going to get us some lumberjack huts here. So I think two will be fine, right? That's 80% 80, 80 is fine. Let's get rid of some of these roads to further boost it. And that should be it, right? Let's have a road connection here and here. Yeah, it's 91 now. Perfect. So that we get some additional logs in. The huge collier will get us more timber directly once it's arrived. Unfortunately, Arch is the only one who's selling timber, right? Uh, the other ones are not doing that. So just raw materials, basically. I don't have any log store at the moment, so there's no timber production happening. What I need to do further is I do need to stop all sewing machines because they consume logs. So anything that kind of like consumes logs needs to get uh, go away. We're still consuming 77 per minute right now. Because obviously also our soap makers are consuming the logs. We had the item for that. Let's also deactivate them for that. And then I think there was the window makers that are consuming it too. But they are all on rides right now. So I cannot do anything with them. Ah, there it is. This one at least. To deactivate all the window makers. To further reduce my log consumption. Going down to 20. This might actually very well be now the sawmills only. We have five sawmills. Yep, consuming four per minute. So that's the sawmills now, right? They are the only ones that are consuming logs now. And we get the logs in from here. And that's the only thing I can do so quickly. Let's have Star Shadow purchase some timber. 112 tons. That's going to help us out. And of course, the other ones we're also purchasing there. Because money is something we actually still have. <laughs> that's one of the few things that we, we can do, right? Meanwhile, I'm also trying to pump my, my diplomacy options there further. Not always successful, but steadily so. Especially with Bente. We are already at peace with her. This is very good. A very good starting point. Let's ask for a quest. She would give us a quest, a delivery quest that is easy. We can do this with the white flagships. That's another three um, repetition that we get from her. We can also continue giving her gifts because I would like to push for the, the, the trade rights there. This is another major step towards alliance, right? Bente has to an alliance with Miss Hunt and with Princess Ching. So it will be very hard to break this there. 
incredible, really. I mean, I've never seen this, that they're all allied together. They're not all allied, but they are pretty close. Right, the trade rights there. And when we look at N, N has no alliance with anyone. This is helpful for us, because if we can push an alliance with the pirate, this will help us out there um, to, to protect us further. 15 tons of pigs she wants. We have a clipper in store, and yeah, we have the pigs. So let's get the pigs over where? To Bentis Main Harbor. Get it over there. To push our reputation a bit. Meanwhile, the building materials are well on their way, and I hope that we will see some starting off locks again of some timber let's also boost them by 50 percent just get stuff done here holy cow this is just really really dire this situation there <laughs> and once again i'm hoping that we are not seeing any direct attacks as long as i have the ruins there so i'm going to keep these ruins as long as possible because i don't think we we can manage otherwise and the only way of truly defending ourselves i think at this point is first of all purchasing off their islands with shares right this would be possible for some islands thus slowing them the main islands are way too expensive though that is 10 million for this we could probably push it out there with advanced weapons but i do need to get that production up again and the other way is building dreadnoughts because with the dreadnoughts we have a uh, tanks available to keep the big baddies alive for a little bit longer and this is all that matters there time right so when when they attack we need to keep these big baddies alive as long as possible and dreadnoughts would be perfect for that however not now. I can, however, still have another advanced weapon here. I, I'm probably going to do this. Because the more, the merrier, right? <laughs> Three more. Um, they only consume dynamite and steel. Still, we have endless production, basically. And dynamite, we just need to increase the volume there in the Docklands. So we can do this. We can pull this one off with the advanced weapons. Star Shadow, in you come. I was looking with my population. The investors are extremely unhappy right now. They basically lack almost everything. Especially electricity, since the oil harbor is not functional. Let's turn in the quest. Three rep with uh, Bente. Perfect. And yeah, also, let's rebuild now the Docklands. And let's rebuild the oil harbor. Two very important steps here that we have. And with the Docklands, 16 minutes for Tobias. Oh, what is going on? Oh, we don't have these contracts active right now, because the Docklands itself, the, the expert offices, are deactivated. At least the wood is coming in. Mm, that would be one of my first things. The coal and iron is important. Grain is important to get it in. Uh, schnapps not that much, most likely. Pigs, we have two. Uh, but it is the logs that is the most important thing because we're still stuck with the timber, right? So that would be one thing. I could continue. Yeah, let's get rid of these buildings here as well. Let's just, yeah, unfortunately get rid of this whole city district that we had. But it is necessary. We can squeeze in another one there. With around 80. 80 is fine. Getting this out is so important. And that's though it for this area. So that's at least three lumberjack huts working a bit. And I'm probably going to... Uh, <laughs> we could do this. Probably here. Yep, that's 90% efficiency for this. For this one there and then we just need to have a a warehouse somewhere and this palace doesn't exist yet right so let's get rid of this road this is just very very uh desperate <laughs> so we use now here another log production then as well wherever we can squeeze it in really without doing too much damage and i think here actually yeah we can build the advanced weapons here then for sure but for now let's use it for another lumberjack hut so that we get as much out as possible. Good, good, good. The traders are still working. That's very good for us. And the oil should also be flowing again, right? So at least that my investors get their electricity back. There it is. Because this is also pushing our balance there once more. Mm, I cannot really purchase anything for now. So we are going to continue purchasing shares. Right? So Miss Hunt's last share here is possible. So now we would have all the shares for Miss Hunt. And that would make it possible to purchase the island. But 10 million is steep. Way too steep. So this is not something I can do anytime soon. 40 tons of timber. How much does an export office cost me then again? Uh, export office. 10 tons. We can, yeah, we can build, upgrade quite a lot of them again. 
Unfortunately, in these ruins, I don't really see what is what. So let's just go with this and this. Right, so that's four more trade contracts that we have active again. Going down to the dynamite, the penny file things, and the red pepper. Ops, pocket watches, and pigs is still out there. But that's not important. That's not important. All right. These rides still persist. Don't I have a police station close by? No, I don't have one here. But we can, of course. He's in a police station there once more. And then we got some additional rides over here. There's also only this police station there. But these rides, of course, happened because of the city wars, right? Deactivated for two full minutes. And that's just what brings people really off. Um, these people are unhappy. These are my sawmills there, by the way. So we definitely do need at least the mobile task force. Um, the smaller building. I can squeeze this one in here. And once I have the timber, I can build this one up there as well. Alright, so far so good. I can actually say we can continue this one for how long. I have no idea, but I'm trying my best. And I hope you still enjoy this one somehow, even though it is messy. It is really messy. Stay tuned. <laughs>